Team Jackson, what's happening? So, I uh, just talked to my homegirl, and she's trying to get over her boyfriend of like two and a half years or something like that. And what I was telling her was, look, man, if you fresh out of a relationship, it don't matter what you do. You cannot snap your fingers and just get over somebody that you gave your all to, invested to um, for any amount of time, really. be three, four months. It's much less, two and a half years. Now, here's the thing. It's been about a year, and she's still not over this guy. So, I'm going to tell y'all, if you're in this situation, this is probably the reason why you are not over that person that you are or was in love with. And it's because you've convinced yourself on a conscious or subconscious level that you're just one understanding away from everything being right again. You're just one understanding away. Now, let me make something clear before I even start explaining what that is. Just because you're not over somebody don't mean that you want them back. Plenty of people ain't over somebody and they don't want a relationship with them again. But the common denominator is, I wish they understood how much they hurt me. So I'm gonna make them hurt, you know? Or I wish they understood they didn't have to hurt me like that. I wish they understood that I still love them. I wish they understood, uh, you know, that cheating doesn't lead to anything better than what I can provide. I wish they understood that they were the problem in their last relationship before me, my relationship, and they still gonna be the problem. I wish they understood this and that and the other. Now, how do you fix this problem? You have to, what they call, fake it till you make it. But what you do is you have to practice not giving a fuck about that understanding until it actually becomes a way of life. You have to cut off all avenues of an understanding on their end, even being communicated with you. So no, you don't know if they realize that they're the common denominator and all their failed relationships because you're not following them on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. You, you, you don't know whether or not they understand that how, how much they hurt you or they understand they'll never find another person like you. Why? Because you're not texting them. You, you done blocked the text messages. You done blocked the calls. You done moved on with your life. Now, that's easier said than done, but the process is this. The more you give life to that, the more you invest in that, the more you build that infrastructure of a new life that don't give a fuck about whether or not they understand anything in terms of how bad they hurt you, the more comfortable you get with it, the more familiar you get with it, and the weaker those thoughts go, trying to piece together and craft together that perfect thing that's going to make them understand. Whether it's the words to say to them, whether it's the words you wish their mama or their best friend say to them, whether it's the situation you hope they run into with the next person, those thoughts get weaker, they become less frequent, and therefore they lose power. Because the longer you keep hope alive about them understanding how they did you, or whatever the understanding is, the longer you're going to keep that pain alive whenever you realize you have no control over that. So, y'all let me know what you think in the comments. And if the person that you're trying to get over is a narcissist, I highly advise you to click the link in my caption before the free training on how to deal with a narcissist comes down. Holla at y'all later. Peace.